Hello everybody, Daryl with RV Adventure TV. I want to uh, talk a little bit about our trip to Yuma, Arizona and uh, Los Algodones, Mexico. Kim and I went down there uh, to check out some dental work, some eyeglasses, and some prescription stuff. I've always heard about it. A lot of RVs go down there and there are a lot of RVs uh, down there when we were there. Unfortunately, I had some uh, memory card issues and I've lost some of the footage, so it's kind of bits and pieces, and it's going to be hard to put a video together to show it. So I'm going to try to something here and try to explain something, then show you some videos and go on. So stay tuned. I want to give you the lowdown on uh, Los Algodones, Mexico, and if you're thinking about getting dental work done, stay tuned. Okay, so here's the process that uh, Kim and I went through. We went online and we also did some research on YouTube, watched some other videos, um, and to try to get a feel for what's going to be happening down in Mexico, which is just around the other side of the border of Yuma. You wouldn't know the difference if you were in Yuma or if you were in Mexico, to be honest with you. So what we came up with to start off with, we went to, online to the Sani dental group s-a-n-i dental group it's a big outfit down there they got a website you can go on their website and check it out um, and we made an appointment to go down there at 9 30 uh, in the morning uh, on a specific day we knew that's when we were going to be uh, in yuma that we uh, camped up at the casino so let's take a little look and show you how we first went in what the procedures were when we first went into Sandy Dental Group. So you'll come right in these front doors, sign in right here, and then you'll sit and fill out your paperwork, especially if you're first time. And then you'll go through these doors over here, probably into the next waiting room. All right, so you come through those doors here, and there's waiting rooms, or waiting area. come in here and sit and wait then you'll probably go into one of these rooms and they'll give you an exam and do whatever so if you come with your spouse bring a book you can sit out here and read or you can watch TV okay so you saw the initial waiting room I lost a clip of outside of showing the building but it's not that big a deal but you just sign in do all your little bit of a paperwork kind of a brief paperwork that you do in any dental office and then we went through those doors into another uh, long waiting room where everybody sits and then uh, somebody comes get you kind of like customer service takes them back to a little cubicle fills out okay what do you want to do what are you looking for here's our options here's the process they explain it very well so once we did all that they gave us a card to fill out uh, for each step of the process for x-rays uh, and whatever went back out in the waiting room they came and got me took me in for an x-ray you stand there they do the full x-ray it's not one of those things they put in your mouth and do tooth by tooth this one's a full goes all the way around your x-ray and you do it standing up so that was kind of cool so I went back in sat down it wasn't five or ten minutes later this process right here at Sandy Dental Group only probably took maybe an hour uh, so it wasn't that bad so then we went in, we talked to one of the doctors. There's like four or five rooms, as you saw in the clip. Uh, each one of these rooms is where there's a doctor and an assistant that translates for the doctor. Uh, so they're very well uh, catered to English-speaking people because that's where they make all their money. Uh, so we went in there. He explained everything. Now, this is where it gets kind of kind of different. It, I started getting an uneasy feeling. He goes and explains all this stuff. Of course, it's just like when you go, I guess, to buy a car or anything else. They want to start out and try to sell you a Cadillac. So it came up to uh, uh, the first thing that they wanted to do 
everything they want to do with my mouth. My teeth aren't bad. I still have, you know, seven or eight of my really good teeth uh, in here. So it's not like they, I don't have anything and I just needed all new dentures, you know, $350 for an upper, $400 for a lower and take out some extractions and it's a done deal. I have enough teeth where they can save it and do some things. So anyway, he starts at, you know, 23, 20 some thousand dollars. Gets all the way down to 8,000. Well, we can do this for 8,000. And he said, well, the best we can do is $4,300 if you only do this, this, and this. So that's not what I expected at all. I thought it'd be cheaper than that. And maybe I just thought that my teeth were that bad that they would just rip them all out and then just give me you know, a full set of dentures, upper and lower. Well, fortunately my teeth are still good, so that wasn't the case. So now I'm gonna have to spend some money and believe me, you want to have your teeth, you want to be able to eat and taste and, and be able to enjoy yourself. You just do not want to, if you cannot absolutely have to, rip out your, your teeth and just have dentures. It's not a fun thing, talking to other people. So I said, well, let's, let's uh, just talk about it and, uh, and we'll, get, we'll get back with you. Now, this didn't cost me nothing. Uh, I didn't have to pay for any x-rays. I didn't have to pay for an office visit or nothing. So Kim and I decided to go up the street to eat. And we talked to somebody outside and I said, what do you recommend for us to go to eat? And as you can see, La Profilia or something like that is where we went to eat. And I had an enjoyable meeting the first day. Talked to a guy up there, one of the waiters, and I said, look, man, I see you got all these dentists around here. What do you suggest what do you recommend the guy was really cool so he suggested to go to dr cynthia and i'm going to show you a little bit of dr cynthia's stuff here so while we got done eating the dental assistant actually walked up to where we were eating got us walked us back down to Dr. Cynthia's office. I, well, I actually have my old x-rays from my dentist that I went to in, uh, in Spokane, Washington. He wanted $8,000 to do the dental work th that I got done in Mexico. So I went there, talked to her about explained, what can we do, can you tear them out, what do you suggest to do? And she says, well, what we need to do is kind of like a San Francisco bridge, they called it. They bridged all these front teeth in with some teeth that were already here. This is a permanent bridge now. I had one before, but it was only like two teeth. And that cost like in 2000, like 2000 bucks American. So Dr. Cynthia decided to do all this and do some parcels down below. So basically they call them crowns. That's everything they say down there is crowns. If they do something to your tooth, it's a crown. So basically they bridged all this up here and down here. She did it all for, I believe it was $2,500, okay? And that was probably the best deal that I was gonna get. And I'm so happy that I did. She did an excellent job. Uh, the place is not one of these big, fancy, uh, Sandy Dental Group, uh, all the other opticals you'll see on the main drag down there. It was nice and clean, and I had no issues at all, but it was off the beaten path which is sometimes where you need to go to get your good deals. So anyway, I went in there to Dr. Cynthia's. I'll show you some clips on that if you haven't already seen them. That is where uh, Freddie at, at this La Fervilla, uh cafe that we ate twice at, uh, he suggested that we go and I went and I'm so glad we did. We saved a lot of money. I don't... All right, here we are at our favorite restaurant in Los Anogos. The La Prilia. Some of the best food in town. We really enjoy it. We come back, this is our second time. I have all my teeth in now, my bridges. Uh, the, the waiter here, Freddie, uh, recommended uh, Dr. Cynthia. So it was very well done. And we come back up here to show our appreciation. We're gonna give him a little tip for saving us a lot of money. So I just wanna show you where we eat. It, but we think this is the best place to eat. It's cheap. I mean, three enchiladas for seven dollars, margaritas for five. So make sure you check it out. 
They got live music. We're having fun down here. We've been here three days. So everything is good so far. Uh, we encourage everybody, if you're going to have eye doctors, there's Kim's new glasses. She got two pair for $110. No line boxes. And there's also... Um, the eye exam is included in that also. Eye exam, no line, both uh, progressives, you know. She had to pick up frames for $110. Comes with a case and everything. So we think that was a pretty good deal. Yeah. About the best we could find. Most of them wanted $150. For one pair. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Daryl and Kim, RV Adventure TV. Having lunchy in Lagosos, Mexico. Having some guacamole. Some chips. Salsa. Enchiladas. Chimichanga. And chimichanga. This here is uh, eight dollars. This was six fifty. Six fifty. And the drinks are three. And the drinks are three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollar yeah. margaritas. So. We'll come back with a total when we get our. Come food. back here when you come here. Make sure you look up Freddie. We're gonna put his information in the subject matter below. He'll work you a good deal, and we'll talk more about it later. So you'll see walking through all the shops, all the metal workers, all the things that they do. Hats, rugs, artwork, metal work. You can find it here. It's very pretty down here. Look inside, look inside, no cover charge. <laughs> This is one of the alleyways where we went up to see Dr. Cynthia. Right up here. You just go right up that hallway there. There are thousands and thousands of dental offices here. Everybody wants you to come into theirs. So don't take the first one you see. They're here to make money. They're here for the snowbirds. And they'll keep asking all these guys down here work for tips. Hola, take a look over here. So you gotta keep looking around. That's why it took us almost a day to find what we wanted to. So log on notice. Mexico. The to work today. <laughs> Dr. Lopez. That's what they do. So don't get off offended if you get asked a million times to uh, dental or optical. Because they're going to ask all day long. Whether you're carrying packages, whether you have glasses in your hand, doesn't matter. Rugs, blankets, shirts. Let me show you different kind of blankets. Haircuts. Get your haircut. Cross this mule. So that's all you need to do is walk down these streets, through the streets, through the hallways, everywhere. I, gu I guarantee you, this is not authentic. Saskatchewan, Harley Davidson, look at the gun belts. Need to get a new holster for your gun? So just a little tour of one of the side streets. Right off the main road here. Yeah, we did. We saved a lot of money. I know I saved at least two thousand dollars. I got my dental work done. Uh, it's been working great ever since. It's been over thirty days, and I haven't had a lick of problems. So, 
just to try to work this in and, and try to show you some clips of what's down there. Uh, this is what I have to do because I lost some of the video. So if you've got any questions, put them down in the comments below. You can send me an email at daryl at rvadventuretv.com. Uh, I'll be happy to explain it to you. I just want you to know you can go down there. You can feel safe. You don't have any issues. They're, they want Americans to come across that border. That's what that town is there for. And they don't put up with nothing down there. You don't get harassed. You don't see a bunch of drunks down there. They're all hard-working people trying to get your dollar. As you saw in the video, you're going to be asked a hundred times, uh, you know, you need dental, you need optical. And they'll ask you and ask you and ask you. But you just have to say no gracias or no thank you. Already got an appointment or something like that. But they'll ask you continuously since you come across till you leave. Because they work on tips. So if they get somebody and take them down there, you know, they make some money. Whether it's $100 or whether they'll give them dental work uh, in exchange for bringing people in. That's what they do down there. Um, also, um, uh, it was it was no big deal crossing the border back and forth. Don't worry about that. They have plenty of shopping down there for you ladies. They've got plenty of ornaments as you saw in, in my picture. So if you're looking for rugs, if you're looking for metal work for yard work, that's the place to go. And of course you can camp right up at the uh, casino if you want to dry dock up there and uh, boondock and feel safe. So anyway, I hope this explains uh, some of the things uh, that we went through down there to get the teeth. I was really apprehensive about doing it. It's kind of weird. Am I going to a chop shop and I'm going to get a crappy job? I'm glad I did it. So, if you're thinking about it and you want to save a lot of money, that'd be the place to go. So, if you got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to try to answer them. So, I hope this video helps. Um, some of you that I know that are going to be going there, I want to thank RV Lady. Uh, she's got a great videos on the same place. Went to the Sandy Dental Group that I did and has had good luck with it too. Also, Gone with the Winds, if you haven't already seen their video on this, they went over there just to get one crown done. But if you have a lot of dental work or need glasses, uh, then you need to uh, go there if you're in the Yuma, uh, lower Arizona area. Now, prescription-wise, you're not going to go over there and start bringing drugs back over. You're not going to get a prescription to carry stuff over. They might give you a prescription somewhere and let you buy the drugs, but you ain't going to get them across the border. Well, you might be able to. They, we never saw anybody search anybody. We never held up. They just ask you, what is your purpose in, that was in Mexico, or did you bring anything back? And you just say no and go on through. There's no stamping passports. You show your passport, that's it, and you go right out. It's, it's about as informal as you can get at a border crossing. So anyway, RV Adventure TV, I hope this helps. Please give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. And we appreciate everybody that watches. Mike, we appreciate you. Tim, we appreciate you. Diane, we appreciate you. Life and Serenity, thanks for showing us around Arizona. And everybody else out there, have a good day and just remember, stop the madness, start the adventure.